First up at UFC 283, we have Daniel Marcos taking on Simon Oliveira. I'll keep my breakdown short and sweet here. I think Oliveira is the better striker. I think he has quicker hands. I think he has better cardio, better wrestling, and better jujitsu. Who do you think I lean here? Mace, what, how do you see this one playing out? Yeah, I uh, I know you're definitely on the Oliveira side. I might be feeling the other way on Marcos. Okay. Uh, Marcos, with his last performance against Brandon Lewis, just looked like a really well-rounded, complete fighter. Uh, he had a really high pace, good, crisp, strong hands, uh, showed pretty good striking D and mixed up his variety of strikes and threw in combination. Really thundered home a few hard leg kicks. Uh, and just, yeah, he had some good straight shots. Really liked what I saw out of him, which mm. needed to see something good out of him because Marcos definitely beat up a lot of regional cans coming up. That 13-0 and is impressive, but a little inflated. But he showed he can also walk the walk a little bit, that last fight out against Lewis. I mean, Oliveira is, I would say, probably the better striker. He's got that Muay Thai base. Uh, I do think he's maybe a little more susceptible to getting hit on the feet versus Marcos. Um, it looks like he leaves a sh- little bit of openings on the feet that that quick straight shot of Marcos might be able to land on. Uh, Oliveira is definitely a lot better in the BJJ department. Um, I think his... His front chokes are really, really strong. He has six of them already on his 18-4 and record. I'm just not sure if his wrestling is quite good enough to get it there. He's shown some decent wrestling, and it's not bad by any means, but that fight with Tony Gravely, uh, he was definitely out-wrestled the whole way through. It's not saying a whole hell of a lot. Gravely's definitely no scrub in the wrestling department at all, but... If he can't get the fight to the mat to get his BJJ going, I'm not confident it's going to be great for him. So maybe a little bit of a dog shot on Marcos to start the card. I'm not sure, though. Really don't feel like betting against Brazil to start off UFC Brazil. So That's interesting. You mentioned the regional scene cans. I completely agree. I think the level of competition uh, that Marcos's face is not good. And and oddly enough, when I was watching the fight with Lewis, I wasn't impressed at all. I thought his hand speed looked pretty slow. Um, I think he stands kind of straight up and down a little too much at times. Cardio didn't look that great to me. So I, I do think Oliveira can get him down, but I don't think he has to. I think he'll outbox him. I think he's a little bit more dynamic. And I I know Tony, you know, grapple fucked him. Like, but that should happen, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. In this case, we don't have to worry about that at all. But having said that, he almost choked out Tony and he still showed cardio after being grinded, grinded hard. He's, he still had his breath. So, um, yeah, for me, it's uh, it's a Brazil or pass in this spot. 